y'all can't tell the difference in the quality of the camera i'm using my old camera this is going to be a very chill like first impressions video of me just trying makeup i also have some wine right here so just wine and talking and trying to make up so yeah one of the biggest new things that i got was this sugar face cosmetics palette um i will put their instagram name right here and also link them down below in my description box and this is the palette i actually wore um a pink eyeshadow look from this company um for ciaa i post a picture on instagram if you do not follow my instagram it's dimples underscore so underscore deeply i'm gonna use this mac soft ochre paint pot to prime my eyes and if you're wondering it's like what time is it like 10 o'clock at night 10 26 at night i'm just bored and i did buy this palette with my own money i can't remember exactly how much it was but i think it was around like 26 dollars and then with shipping it came out to like 30 but um the pans are really big and i don't have a kofo eyeshadow palette so i decided to just test it out and yeah so as you can tell this palette does not have a like transition shade so I'm gonna go on with my Modern Renaissance palette, Rossinia in Soft Ochre, two shades, and kind of just set this eye and also use it as a transition shade. Okay, so I'm going with the palette. I'm gonna use this orange shade right here. And I don't think I really have a orange matte shade in a palette. Um, the first time I used this palette, um, it wasn't like super, super pigmented. But maybe it's because I was using like pinks and those are going to be hard to work with anyway. So I'm just going to like swivel my brush into this palette to kind of pick up a lot of product and just start packing it. You see what I mean? It's pigmented, but it's not like, well, that actually is really pigmented. It's powdery. That's what I'm trying to say. It's pigmented. But it's kind of powdery but i think swiveling it into the palette really helped because it was not this pigmented last time when i did my pink look so swiveling it like that definitely helps as you can tell there is some fallout but it's not a really big thing for me it's nice oh my god <laughs> oh my god they also sent me some of their brushes they have like travel size brushes then they have like the full eyeshadow brushes website i think it's like 10.99 but they're just these brushes and they're really cute and soft and it just says sugar sugar face cosmetics right there so i'm going with like a packing brush it's kind of like an angled packing brush um like i said this video's not sponsored and i did buy this stuff on my own but i think they sent this for free I don't remember paying for it so yeah um i'm next going to take the blue shade right here they aren't named but that's fine i'm also going to the palette is so big <laughs> i'm going to swivel it and like that to get some good pigmentation i think this really is what you need to do when using this palette look at that wow i kind of wish it had a mirror on it but that's fine I'm just gonna place this like in my outer B. Wow. Yeah, doing it this way definitely made it more pigmented than before. I'm super excited for the summertime. Are y'all excited? Super excited for the summertime. Like if y'all didn't know, I was in a car accident last summer and I was in like a neck and back brace for like most of the summer. So I wasn't able to really enjoy my summer the way i wanted it to because i was in the brace the whole summer i'm also am taking a summer class i took a summer class last summer i'm taking another summer class but you guys if you know i'm moving back home so the summer class will be back at home so i'm only in this apartment for like two more months so i shall have a really really good summer because i will not be in a brace hopefully this summer god forbid wow like this is looking so good like this i don't remember it being this pigmented when i used it last time but i'm just going to take this blending brush that came with the palette and just kind of blend out where the orange and blue meet y'all can't see this it's actually turning green like uh-huh 
I did not know like actually blend two shades together will actually make it the two colors that you're blending. I'm gonna go back in with the MAC Paint Pot and I'm gonna cut out my lid. Okay, so that is mapped out. That looks so freaking good. Like, with the time I have nowhere to go, my shadow wants to come out bomb. And I'm gonna go in with this bright yellow gold. It reminds me of Trophy Wife. Oh, it looks kind of green now. It might be green. I'm just gonna pack this on top. Okay, this is definitely green. Oh, wow. Y'all, it must be the colors I used because this was not this pigmented before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm using this Amuse Cosmetics Eyeliner and I got it off Shop Miss A. Dot com. Here it is right here and it's in black. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this off. And I don't go all the way in because I don't really like how it looks. Okay, that looks good I think. I got the Huda Beauty Foundation first um, around Christmas time. And I haven't grown to love it and I want to love it. I want to love all my high-end foundations which are like $40. So I decided to try out the Huda Beauty Foundation again in the Huda Beauty setting powder because I feel like I need to give it another chance. So that's what I'm gonna be using today for foundation. I'm gonna use this No Problem Primer. Um, I got this in my Boxy Charm box for the month of February. And I canceled it for the month of March because I don't just really need it this month. So I'm just gonna use this and it's supposed to fill your pores in. Blend this in. And it kind of feels like silicone-y, but very light silicone, not very thick. I'm gonna go on with my Huda Beauty foundation. This is in the shade Cinnamon. I'm not gonna put too much on because I think that was my problem last time. I put too much. When it's super pigmented and on um, full coverage like this, you really don't need that much. And I think that's my problem most of the time. With these higher end foundations, I put them on like it's a drugstore one. And they just have different pigmentations and stuff like that. But I think Looking at this now, it looks good. For concealer, I've been loving the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Like, I never thought I would love this found it, this concealer, but I actually love it. So I'm gonna use that with a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which is also another good concealer. And my Fenty Beauty Concealer is in 360, and my uh, Makeup Revolution is in C12. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend this out. I just hate when you like buy a super full coverage, high-end foundation, and you end up not liking it. So I just knew I had to do something to make myself like this foundation. And I think it took just using less product and probably not using a beauty blender. Some foundations just don't look good with beauty blenders, and I think that the Huda Beauty was one of those. So seeing this how it looks with out a beauty blender, I feel like definitely looks a lot better. Okay, so now I have the Huda Beauty setting powder and this is in Blondie. I'm gonna use this to set this makeup. We'll see how it goes. But I also want to like this one as well. So I have to keep using it and figuring out what works for me and what doesn't. This looks actually good. I have a new setting spray. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 setting spray. I bought it in Atlanta. If you have not seen my Atlanta vlog, go watch. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use this. Paint up like that, I haven't used it enough to know, but I mean, I guess it does the job. Okay, so I got a new highlighter out of my Boxy Charm. This is the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter in Shimmering Swan. I've used this even like without um, having makeup on. And I really liked it. I brought over my Fancy Beauty uh, Trophy Wipe Highlighter to put in my inner corner, so that's what I'm using now. And it's pretty much the same shade as the lid color, but that's when you use something different. And for lashes, like I said, I'm gonna do this off camera because there's just no way I could put them on on camera. But I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to put on these AOA Studio Lashes in Isabella, right here. And the glue I use is the 
duo glue the green one right here so i'll be back okay so i got my lashes on like i said i'm learning how to put them on so they're not perfect but they're on so that's all that matters um so i'm going to use this nika k lip liner and this mac lipstick in peach stock this is my favorite lip liner and in the middle I honestly do think this look would probably look better without lashes because I don't know how to put them on, but that's up close. But from afar, it looks okay. You know, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm still learning how to put on lashes, so that's fine. But but this is the end of the look. I like this look, you know, it would be good for pictures. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just, you know, doing my thing, talking to you guys for a little bit, enjoying some wine and just playing in makeup. I think this look was definitely well needed because I did learn how to use that palette better and as you can tell it's freaking pink to its mess so if you want to pick up this palette I will link it down below in the description box I don't have a coupon code for you guys but if you want me to get one I will try to get one I'll hit them up and see what can happen but yeah so thank you guys for sitting here talking to me and have fun with me so I'll see you guys in my next video bye